We had two cartfuls at this Goodwill. Stay tuned and see what we picked up. We're a husband and wife team, thrifting and picking. Sometimes we find the unusual, but if there's a profit to be made, we'll take it. And sometimes we just get darn lucky. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> well, good afternoon, folks. Well, good afternoon. It's Debbie and... And Marty, and we are off. We got a coupon that's gonna expire, so you can't kind of, you can't let that go. You gotta, you gotta use it. Right, it's a 35% off coupon at Goodwill in the Akron area. So we actually have two that are expiring today. Not sure how that happened, but. Well, we might have to hit both Akron stores. Let's go ahead and get to a couple of these stores and see if we're able to. Stock up on some good stuff. On some good stuff. So, okay, we'll see you on the flip side. That's a wrap. It's a wrap. We hope you'll sit back and relax as we treasure hunt, go over our haul, totals that include how much we paid, an estimated list price, then relax with us at the end. Also, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. When I first entered the store, I noticed that they had moved a few things around. The shoes used to be up over the clothes racks, and uh, now they have them in one location and much easier to see. This first pair I picked up was a Minnetonka pair of ballet flats in a size 8. They were in excellent condition. And the next pair I spotted was this pair of Dansko black ballet flats, a size 41, which equates to a size 10 and a half. Again, in excellent condition. I paid $3.57 for each of these two pairs with the coupon. I start my trip through the store in the art section. One of the things I look for are hand signed prints. Uh, and there are times when it's hard to decipher what the artist's signature is. And um, I look, for that, look at that as a challenge and I try to figure it out when nobody else could. Um, but also you can get prints that are not hand signed that are also extremely valuable. I did pick up this one. This is a hand signed print by Gay Sanders Fisher. Uh, this print is very hard to find and this will make us some good money. I worked my way over by the glassware and I looked through several pieces. These Sango pieces were not, uh, didn't have the value that I was looking for, but I did put these other ones in the cart. Uh, these are signed Good Friends Spain, but on researching them later, I found that both of them were pretty well chipped up and so I put them back. After that, though, I do find this set by uh, Yankee Candle. Uh, this has a, a tray, a creamer sugar, and a, a candle topper. Uh, this is a good find for us also. This piece here was a, a nice little pickup. This is a uh, Charles Schultz Peanuts Happiness Is typewriter. This is a Hallmark piece. Uh, this is an excellent pickup. And up next, we have a pair of Clark's Collection leather slip-on ankle booties or loafers. They do have a modest size heel at two inches, and they are a women's size seven and a half. This brand sells very well for me. And because this brand sells so well for me, I picked up a second pair, which happens to be the same size at seven and a half women's. And this is another black pair of loafers, Clark's collection slip-ons. And uh, again, like the others in excellent condition. And I picked those up as well. Continuing on through the hard goods, I noticed there's a lot of sponge wear in this uh, section today. Someone must have had a, a pretty good collection that they dropped off. Uh, Spongeware items don't do very well for us, just for the simple fact that the thrift stores seem to pr price them up higher than uh, the, the regular items. And so there's not enough meat left on the bone for us to uh, pick them up and try to resell them. This picture here with the green spongeware, uh, even though it has a bad uh, impression of the mark on it, we know that it's Robinson Rainsbottom out of Roseville, Ohio. 
In the electronics, I find this Sony 5-disc exchange system. Sony is a really good product for us to pick up. It sells really well. And if this doesn't work, I can bring it back to Goodwill. This is the last pair of shoes that I picked up for the day. This is a pair of Socafy, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, slip-on leather loafers. They are flats. They are a size 42 or a size 11 to 11 and a half. These are comfort shoes and they look so comfortable. Now let's take a look at a helpful hint. Today's helpful tip is on brushing out and saving shoes that have like the faux fur lining on the inside or the Sherpa type lining. And what I did was I ordered from Amazon these metal brushes and they come in different sizes. And I tried it on one of these slippers, Ugg slippers that I, I purchased. I believe these are Ugg, I'll put it up above. You can see here how well they did. I'll post that link in the description box if you'd like to go ahead and purchase some of these. I'll be posting some pricing signs there as you just saw. Just keep in mind, we do have a 35% coupon off of all these prices. Here we have a men's coach belt. It is a brown woven or uh, braided leather belt and it is a size 34 and in excellent condition. As you all know, I love picking up the brand Fossil and this was a black leather bag. Uh, the leather did need a little bit of cleaning. I do use the Doc Martens leather cleaner and I'll put that link in the description below if you'd like to try some yourself. I highly recommend it, but this bag definitely went in my cart. The next bag I picked up was a Donald Pliner. A black leather bag uh, was the day for leather. Both bags were shoulder bags. This one is a hobo uh, style and um, it's actually a large size and you can see it's in beautiful condition there and was excited to get both of these. The games is a good section to take your time and look through. The best games are the ones that are sealed because this way you do not have to count each piece to make sure it's complete. Take this game for example. This one only sells for about $15, so it's really not worth our time to put it on. It's getting harder and harder to find uh, games because a lot of people are selling them because they are an easy sell. Like this Wheel of Fortune game, this is another one. This one is sealed. Uh, I believe it's like 1985, but it is uh, only about a $15 resale plus shipping. So it's not really worth our time. I take a second pass through the art section and I find a print that I missed the first time. This is a serigraph and it's made by uh, John Hamison. This is Independence Hall in Philadelphia. This print comes from about the 1957 uh, this is a rare print to find, and I'm picking it up. They brought out a new cart, and on this cart was a Wagner power scraper. This comes with the manuals. It's corded. It's not battery operated, but uh, I just have to decide whether I'm going to keep this for myself or if I'm going to put it online and sell it. Stay for the haul and see if I decided to keep it or did I put it up for sale. Okay, next I moved on to some jackets and coats. The first thing I picked up is this cabbie blazer. It is a current style. I love the design on it and definitely put that in the cart. I love picking up jackets. I can usually get more money out of these. And this is a Paladin full zip jacket. It is a cycling or bike jacket in a jersey uh, type material. And it is a 2X large. Next up in the jacket section, I picked up this women's Columbia sportswear fleece jacket. It is a full zip. It is a size large and I paid $3.05 with the coupon. This vintage Marvin Richards black leather jacket was probably one of my best finds of the day. It is 100% leather and it has a beautiful woven design to it, full zip front uh, closure and it is a great size and a size large. 
Let's play What's It Worth? Is this beautiful Marvin Richards leather jacket worth A, $75, B, $125, or C, $225? Answer in the hall coming up shortly. I picked up this mixing bowl. This is, this is made by Friendship Potteries in Roseville, Ohio. This will be an, an easy list, easy sell. Next, I found this clay uh, jug. Uh, this is Italian. If you look at the mark on the bottom, you can't really make it out. So I had to use actually use Google Lens to try to uh, figure out what this was. This is a very unique piece, and we had to throw this one in the cart. Uh, next, I found a Krispy Kreme mug. We're always finding Starbucks, but this is the first Krispy Kreme mug I've ever found. This has a red heart on it for Valentine's. We definitely had to buy this. Here you can see the prices for the tops and the sweaters. This is the last of the clothing pieces, and this is a new with tags. Simply Noel sweater cardigan. I love the collar on this, very neutral, and it'll be warm and cozy for the upcoming winter months. And next I have a Lou and Grace sweater. It is a pullover. It is a chunky knit and it is a wool alpaca blend. So for that reason, um, the quality of the material or the knit, I went ahead and picked this up. It is a size medium and I love the color on this one. Next, I have a Zella t-shirt. It is a running uh, shirt, a pullover, and it does have the thumb holes. It is a size small and um, thought that for this time of year with the long sleeves, again, uh, this would be great to pick up. And last, I have a Moda International uh, pair of black leather pants, 100% genuine leather. They are a size eight. I picked up some great clothing today. Let's go back to Marty and see what he picked up. On a cart, I find this Easton baseball bat. Uh, this is a model SX24. Th this was uh, marked at $10, which would have been a little high for us, but with the coupon, it brought it down to $6.50. So I, I think it was a good deal. We were standing in line and at the register, and I looked in the case, and I saw this vinyl record. It's uh, AFI, uh, an essential retrospective of their nitro years. And the price was right, so I had to grab it. We are now offering to all of our subscribers 25% off. See something that you would like to have? Simply contact or message us on our Instagram account at Pineapple Path. Payment and shipping details in the description below. Okay, sweetheart, it's kind of loud out here, but how do you think we did? <laughs> well, we had a great time. I think we found lots and lots of good stuff. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, yeah, your dry spell is definitely gone. Yes. And um, a sneak peek at that, well, you probably already saw it, or you will be in the hall here, but um, at that, at the last minute, you found a record, a vinyl, so yeah, so some great things. Right, some things may be a little longer sale, but we'll make good, good money on them. Absolutely, we will. So great haul, honey. We ended up only having one coupon, and with the amount of stuff that we got at this Goodwill store, we decided that we would call this a haul, so let's see what we picked up. The what's it's worth answer is B, $125. Let me know in comments below if you got it right.
The total spent or cost of goods is $116.20. The total estimated list price is $1,552. Wow, the perfect haul came together. The goods were there with that 35% coupon. We saved nearly $60. What a score. Here we are arriving at Yellow Springs, Ohio. And there on the right is Ye Old Trail Tavern. It is Ohio's oldest tavern, established in 1827. They actually had an art festival going on, so there was a lot of people in town. Our wait ended up being about an hour and a half. Here we are exploring the town before dinner. We were seated in the oldest part of the building, established in 1827, and was made of log construction. <laughs> How many five-year-olds do you know that love onion rings? How is it, honey? Good. How's your <laughs> when I'm in these historic buildings, I can only imagine what it was like almost 200 years ago. Stuffed pepper, salad. What'd you get? Fish, Fish and chips. Angie, grilled cheese. And look at those awesome French fries, Sienna. I know. Here's a sneak peek of where we will be going next week in our Relax With Us feature. We hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you'll take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button if you did. Comments and questions are always welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, the treasures are just waiting to be found. Until we see you next time, Marty and Debbie.